Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is going to be a daily reading to look at the current situation, current feelings, what might be hidden. We'll take a look into love, career, finances, and overall. Spirit, please connect to Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. <clears throat> Let's see what messages we get for you today, Pisces. So what is going on in your current situation? We have the King of Point Coins. This is about success. This is about financial and material mastery. This is about having the Midas touch. This is Earth energy as well. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But this is really wanting to have success for others of you it could be also being very committed to something whether you're committed to a task at hand committed to yourself even but we'll get clarification in a moment and what might be in your feelings today then we have the king of cups so this is the emotional mastery so you're really getting to this place of um evolving pisces where you're having mastery over your material world and your emotional world the king of cups is Fem or masculine, sorry, masculine water. And what might be hidden? We have the Wheel of Fortune. So there is positive change that is occurring for you right now. Now, this could also be that you're hiding the fact that you're making a lot of positive changes in your life. And that is also reflected in the fact that we have the material and emotional mastery, which is enabling you to turn that wheel forward. And what do we need to know about love right now? We have the Six of Pentacles, really wanting to have uh, balanced emotions, balanced situations, equal give and take in love and emotional situations. And in career and finances, we have the world. This is about success, fulfillment, and completion. Some of you may be ending one chapter in career or finances and headed towards something new but with the world we're definitely seeing and some of you might also be um traveling as well the the world can be speaking to global travel as well but here we're definitely seeing a sense of fulfillment and completion you're focusing on and maybe for some of you even you, the changes you're making are with respect to career and finances that you're moving towards something that will be more fulfilling for you and then in general, we have the Ten of Cups. So we are definitely looking at you, Pisces, moving towards making positive changes towards your emotional fulfillment and the things that make you happy. And I'm, I'm getting the things that make you feel more complete in life. And then the overall outcome here, we have the Two of Wands. So there, we do see that you understand there are more choices that may need to be made and you may be also really giving thought to what is next in your life you you have come out of many different seasons of difficulty having that material and emotional mastery and as you move forward to implement to implement the positive changes in your life seeking balance seeking fulfillment seeking emotional fulfillment and satisfaction, you're really looking at what you want to go towards, what is going to be part of the next journey on your life. We'll get clarification for that in a minute. Spirit, please come near and clarify this message for Pisces. What do you want Pisces to know about this King of Coins for the current situation? What is this King of Coins for Pisces current situation, please, Spirit? Thank you. And we have the judgment. So this is definitely speaking about the calling on your life. Also awakening to how to better utilize your material experience, whether that is tangible things around you, such as money, finances. Um, we're definitely seeing here that there are decisions being made. Spirit, one more card for this King of Coins. One more card for this King of Coins, please. One more card for this King of Coins for Pisces, please, Spirit. What do you want them to know for the current situation? Now, this with the judgment, this can also be a person coming, returning to the past, like coming back into your, your life here. Um, we have the, the Chariot card coming out. 
in addition to the judgment. So this is definitely about moving forward in a more um, concrete way. For some of you, you may in fact have a past life connection with somebody who has Virgo Taurus or Capricorn in their chart. But I'm feeling moreover, this is about you making decisions in your own life about how to move forward in accordance to your purpose and your truth and what is going to bring you the most success, the most material and um, financial satisfaction here. But we do with the judgment card and the chariot. This is about you moving forward in a very successful way. What is this King of Cups for the current feelings for Pisces? And we have the Five of Cups. What else do we need to know about this King of Cups for Pisces in the current feelings? What else do we need to know about this? Thank you. And we have the Five of Swords. So this is overcoming Pisces. You, you are all too familiar with this Five of Cups and this Five of Swords. People trying to get one up on you. People having that energy of jealousy, of argument, and having the desire to win at any cost. Now, some of you may have in the past also been in that energy yourself where you would try to get whatever you wanted, no matter the cost, um, whether that is a partnership. Maybe some of you um, may have tried to manipulate situations or had people manipulate situations with you. However, this is the Five of Swords energy is about, you know, fighting a battle that nobody's ever going to win and that is you know this is really a losing game in your emotional space that you know did in fact lead to the sadness and disappointment but what we, we're seeing here Pisces is you're coming to the place now where you're effectively raising this glass to yourself because you have overcome this energy that could have and may have for a while really kept you in a a dark suppressed state but now you're overcoming that with this emotional mastery what is this wheel of fortune for what is hidden what is this wheel of fortune for what is hidden please spirit what is this wheel of fortune for what is hidden what is this wheel of fortune for what is hidden please spirit thank you and we have the knight of cups so this is you know, significant change that you, you are going through Pisces. And I, I don't think for some of you, you may not even realize how profound or how significant the emotional change is that is going on within you as a result of overcoming. We see Pisces that you are overcoming material 3D issues and the tangible and the non-tangible, the intangible, the, the physical and the emotional, you are overcoming and having mastery on that. And that is enabling you to move forward to new opportunities, to new connections, to a new emotional space for you. And, and it's hidden because you may not be showing people how profoundly deep you have changed, but you may not also be aware. This is this is one of those moments where you look back in maybe a year and you say, man, look at what I did. Look at what I have overcome. At the time, I didn't realize how significant it was. But now that I'm looking back at it, how did I ever, you know, come out of that? How did I ever, you know, break the chains of that? You know, however this resonates for you, but we're definitely seeing that it's it's a very and it's also with the wheel of fortune it's a very um significant change but it's also a faded emotional change that's in accordance to your journey as well what is the six of pentacles for love for pisces what is the six of pentacles thank you and we have the knight of swords and the nine of wands so you know you're really looking at any type of emotional situations or love situations relationships what have you um from a place of having learned harsh les lessons having been through difficult times where you have given much and got little and it this is an adjustment in your emotional space to where you may have in the past continued to invest, continue to 
um, give to situations that were taking your energy from you, we're now seeing that you're changing, you're having this change into others around you as you being a Pisces who's always giving and giving and giving, they they might, people may in fact even say to you, why are you being so harsh? Why are you taking back your energy? Why are you doing this? Why, why have you changed? Why are you being different? Because to them, you should always be unconditionally giving even if they walk over you. And you're you have come into emotional mastery where you're no longer entertaining battles where people are just going to continue to walk over you. You have bandaged your own head, you are standing strong, and you're making these decisions to change and go towards emotional situations that are going to be equal give and take. And I'm really feeling the energy here, Pisces, that you're very aware earlier on of if, like even when you first meet somebody, you're like, you know, I don't, I don't think this is going to be, have an opportunity to, based on the interactions, based on the energy, based on the words that this person uses, um, you're more objective about and evaluating. You evaluate it more honestly um, because of your experience and because you have really gained this emotional mastery and gone through hardship in the past, you're, you're making a decision earlier if this is going to be something you want to invest in, if it's going to be balanced versus, you know, in the past you may have, you know, wanted or desired to believe that, no, they'll give, no, they'll be there, no, it'll work out. But now you're you're not allowing yourself to be in that energy anymore because you know where it's gotten you in the past. So what is this world for Pisces in career and finances spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this world for career and finances, please. What is this world for career and finances for Pisces, please, Spirit? Okay, that's too many. Please be more specific. But we did have the King of Coins pop out. If it pops out again, we'll know it's meant to be here. So what is this world for career and finances for Pisces? Thank you. And we have the Fool. So that's very beautiful energy. Anything else for this world for career and finances? Thank you. And the Six of Cups. So in career and finances, Pisces, you are going to have a new beginning or new opportunities, whether these are things that are brought to you or things you're actively working um, for yourself, what, working to bring into your, your, um, your, either you're going to have options presented to you or you're making options in career and finances. So some of you are going to, as a result of the work you've done in the past, you're going to be able to have this new beginning because you have experience, etc. But for others of you, you may be returning to some type of hobby or skill or career from something you have learned in the past. Maybe it's even something returning to some type of task oriented or, or thing that you loved as a child and bringing that into the present and making some type of career financial new beginning out of that. For example, if as a child you like to, and this is just random, as a child you like to knit, right? Like you learned how to knit when you were a child and now you're starting to knit again, but now you're going to open an Etsy shop and start selling the things you knit. That's just an example, random, but take it or leave it. But here, so what we're seeing in career and finances is you do have a new beginning coming Pisces. Um, okay, Spirit says that's it, go on. So what is this 10 of cups for general for Pisces? What is this 10 of cups for what Pisces needs to know in general? What is this 10 of cups for what, thank you. And we have the moon, one more card for this 10 of cups for Pisces in general. And we have the strength. So you you are definitely coming out of a dark time, Pisces, and you're going to be able to like really, ha you're coming to this place where you're literally and metaphorically going to be sitting there and rethinking over all your successes, all the things you have been overcoming. You, The moon card is a card of Pisces, the strength card is a card of Leo, but this is really about you overcoming the darkness, you overcoming your dark side, your dark night of the soul. This is about coming to a place where you yourself 
achieve that emotional balance within yourself. If we look at this 10 of cups, we have five cups and five cups. This is a very centered, a very bright, a very um, peaceful card. And with the strength card as well, we see the dynamic of two balancing that dark and that light, the the harshness of the line and the peacefulness and gentleness of the the angel or caregiver here bringing peace to situations and in the moon we also have that energy of balance so in general pisces we're really seeing that you are coming to a place where you are making choices and decisions and have been for quite a while even though it may have been very difficult for you to pull yourself out of certain situations or relationships or to even come to terms with your own or other your own behaviors or other people's behaviors that are are situations or behaviors you no longer you're no longer comfortable with but also that you're just literally moving on from because they do not bring you peace and they bring you this energy of sadness and and you you're just really done being sad you you want to move towards this place of balance and peacefulness and have these emotional changes occur so what is this two of wands for pisces overall outcome what is this two of wands for pisces overall outcome please spirit what do you want pisces to know about this two of wands what is this two of, thank you hold on so for this two of wands pisces we are getting the king of wands and the two of swords so some of you may have literally blocked a fire sign leo aries sagittarius some of you maybe literally making a decision about if you're going to unblock them or not but this is also telling me to remember um telling me to tell you to remember the past difficulties um don't let yourself be fooled um if they tried you once and you learned a lesson then they tried you twice and you had that lesson repeat do you really want to invite that in? The two of swords and the two of wands, these are about choices. They're also about balance, right? Making the logical, clear choice. This is also about diplomacy and making a head over heart decision. Um, the king of wands also, for those of you not dealing with the fire sign, um, you may also have fire in your chart as well. Um, and I'm feeling that it might not be in your... Um, a primary placement, but somebody, some, um, some other placement within your chart that might be um, fairly relevant to some of the emotional changes you're going through now. Um, but here we're definitely seeing with the King of Wands. This is about leadership. This is about authority. This is about you taking the authority in your life to pursue passions and to be confident. Um, in the choices that you make going forward, really taking that time to evaluate what it is you want and utilizing logic. There may in fact be things that you're not seeing in a situation, but you're still going to take your time. And we're really seeing the energy on this, on this figure's face of having shrewdness, of really um, seeing clearly into situations and taking your time and not rushing versus this two of swords which you know is in the dark the moon is there with some darkness behind this person the water is somewhat murky the blindfold is on and they're a little bit blocked unable to move but you're definitely deciding to come out of that energy and come into your power um this is really about having significant emotional changes that you're going through and the uh, the profound effect it's having on your life you're actually probably not going to see that immediately but in a while down the road you'll be looking back at this time and saying wow look at how i have evolved look at how i have overcome the battles the disappointment i have found victory in my life spirit one star seed oracle for pisces for this reading one star seed oracle for pisces for this reading please spirit hold on okay can you be more specific please spirit just one card please just one card just one star seed oracle be okay we keep getting a bunch guys so we'll just read them so what we have here is 
you're not for everyone. I mean, for real, right? And, and that's okay. But conversely, not everyone is for you. And that is perfectly beautiful, actually, right? I mean, you cannot be successful while you are trying to be everything to everyone. That you may have been trying to do that in the past. That is also, it can be identified as a people pleasing energy, but embrace your weirdness, face your true north. This is about you coming into your truth, no longer allowing yourself to submit to situations that are harmful, hurtful, difficult for you. This is about you having that emotional mastery over these. And then we have dance with life, do something to change your energy. We do see here, Pisces, that you are doing a lot of change. And when you're doing this change, sometimes releasing people's situations and having these internal changes can start to weigh on us, weigh on us, weigh on our energy. And we just need to um, take the moment to, you know, get out of that mindset just to kind of allow our energy to be lighter by having, you know, some dance, listen to music, etc. Um, high wrath, longing for home, homesick for the stars. A lot of you are very, very old souls, um, as you may know. Um, for others of you, um, okay, so spirit just stopped me and there's, they want me to address the fact here that your journey probably feels long. And oftentimes, as you continue to go through these cycles of change and evolution, you may feel very lonely, especially when you're clearing people out of your life. Um, the, the job of a Pisces can get, and I say job because we're here, this is, we're here with a purpose. We're here on earth to learn and to grow. Um, so the job of a Pisces can get very lonely sometimes. So honor the fact that this might be occurring within your energy and, you know, please just take the time to do something to make yourself feel good. Um, and Spirit also wants me to draw attention to the fact here, longing for home, homesick for the stars. You know, you could feel as though you you don't have your tribe. Where's my tribe? I want to find my tribe. You know, your spirit guides are around you all the time, so you're never alone. So even if you, in the natural 3D, feel like you're alone, like, where's my home? You're still surrounded by... Um, your guides, guardians, angels, and ancestors. And if you get in the energy where you feel lo alone or lonely or sad, you can ask them to please say, guides, guardians, angels, and ancestors in high vibrational energy, please come near and lift my energy. Help me to not feel lonely. Please give me a sign or just embrace me now. Hold me in your energy and comfort me. And they'll do that. And you'll feel better. Um, so jump in. Adramana Energy Adventure and say yes to change. This is what we're seeing here, Pisces, is you are changing. You have been changing for quite a while. You're coming into this physical mastery. You're coming into this emotional mastery. And as a result, the wheel of fortune, your faded journey is moving forward to bring you into this emotional change, but also to move you into new opportunities. And we see that overall in love and emotions, you're really seeking to have balance and situations that are unequal or unbalanced are also unhealthy and you're becoming wiser to that. In career and finances, you're really making a shift towards things that are more fulfilling and we do see that you will be having new beginnings and new starts that are rooted either in your past, the, your past work or some type of skill you have learned in the past. Um, overall, we do see the balance that is coming into your life. Even though you may not see the depth and breadth of this now, you are, in fact, moving towards a more balanced emotional place. And then, in general, we do see that there have been um, choices you have made that have required strength, that have required mastery, that have required you to make logical choices over emotional choices. But as you go forward, you're making um, decisions from a more discerning point of view because you really want to make sure that what you have is 
in alignment with your truth so you do not return to the energy of defeat, the energy of disappointment, the energy that brings you out of balance. So say yes to change. This is the message I have for you, Pisces. God bless.